Hi, my name is Kenny Quirk. I'm from uh, Sumo Psycho. Here I'm playing uh, Frullinetto Bass. It's a little crusty looking, but it does the job. Um, these are made out in, in, uh, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada by a guy named George Frullinetto who uh, makes a lot of customized basses and stuff like that. I think uh, Aerosmith and some of those guys play them as well. Really high end, uh, it's a lot of bass, but it's um, really good for what we do. Uh, big, wonderful neck, very, very active pickups. As I said, this bass is probably around 25 years old. Um, I got, I inherited it from somebody, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, aside from the details, one uh, neck through the body, you know, <laughs> it's just so dirty looking right now. I feel kind of bad. Right now, I am. Uh, I love the Ernie Ball uh, power slinkies. You know, I like the thicker gauge strings. Um, we're generally a drop C, so um, you know, I like to have the strings and thicker gauge to kind of hold the, the slack. You know, make them a little bit more taut, so I can do a bit more finger picking and. Uh, picking and uh, you know basically play the bass functionally but have it tuned down a lot lower you know this band is very uh, hard rock dance hall so you know I'll, I'll, I'll slip up the front and bump up the front uh, I'll bump up the front actually I don't have any power right now either I turn it on and play something for you um, you got power now oh I do yeah. um, but I, I would mute uh, I basically you know palm mute for the for the back for the dance hall kind of stuff, and then when I'm when I'm rocking the pick stuff, I'd also use the back kind of the back pickups. Uh, but then when I'm just powering through with my fingers, I'm just you know I'm using the front and a bit of the back too, you know, just for, just to kind of get more resonance. So yeah, that's just kind of wow I do it. And I think Pro I've had since I was a kid. Uh, right now my Mark base is uh, my Mark base is getting kind of customized into a, a big uh, a road case right now. So we were we had one day to basically get what we had to to go. So I brought my old Ampeg uh, the Pro Five. Um, this thing's great. This is a great head. It's just, you know, it's pretty outdated and pretty old. But um, it sounds great to the Mark Bass. The Mark Bass 410. I am famous. Like, I used to use Eden. I used to use Eden a lot. And um, a great cabinet, but I blew speakers constantly with this thing, right? Playing them in hard rock bands, hard hitting drummers and stuff like that. And you're at the mercy of some stages. Some, some of them give you the, the volume you need, some of them don't. So I've gone through a lot of speakers for the Eden. As you can tell, this is this taking a beating. I've had this for like six years, and I'm not blowing one speaker. It's light, it weighs like practically nothing. Like, if you're a new bass player, get one of the, get Mark Bass stuff. This stuff is just light and efficient. The Pro the Pro Mark, uh, Mark Bass Pro Mark uh, Three. It's um. It's got a pre, uh, two preamp in it. It's, it's, I play a uh, stand-up bass too, so it's one of, one of those versatile amps that I can use. I can use for quiet, small acoustic sessions. And it's got a nice enough preamp to like round the tone off. By the way, I like it, and it's simple. It's not like tons of EQs. It's like you know, mids, treble, bottom. You know, a little bass boost and compressor and stuff like that. But just basically simple, right? You don't you don't have to be an engineer to run it. It just plug and go, right? And it weighs like five pounds, you know. So everything is just like boom, boom, boom. So the fact you put in it doesn't blow up, weighs practically nothing, and and it sounds great, like winning combination, right? So yeah, that's what I think.